Howdy there campers, welcome back for another episode of Free and Budget Camp Science in Queensland. Mate, my name's Peter, I'm travelling around Australia, road testing campsites. Right, before we get right into it, let's not forget to turn your notifications on. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And guys, at the end of it, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, it's up to yourself. Anyway, we're at a place called Lloyd Jones's Weir. It's not very far out from the local town, which is really, really good. So it's, it's only a hop, skip and a jump into town. It's around 10 kilometers. Uh, just outside, there is a kilometer of dirt track. It's not that corrugated at the moment, but it probably will get corrugated during the years to come, unless they grate this. Um, I haven't seen any indications where they do grate it and get all the corrugations out. So just be careful when you do come in here. Righto. Mate, it's a pretty nice area. It's a donation, by the way. It's a gold coin, or if not, $5 note would be nice. It's not a huge park, but it's a good getaway if you want to come around here, this area. Righto. Let's go have a look at the park. Righto. When you come out from Bar Cordon, or if they, or the locals call it Barky, Look, it's around 10 kilometers out. There's quite a few shops in there that you can uh, stock up and come back out here. Look, when you get here, there's plenty of places that, well, I wouldn't say plenty of places. It is a very, I wouldn't say it's a large park. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 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 probably around 15 caravans in it. It's pretty starting to get full. Look, all the best spots are taken. So if you want to get here early, but anyway, when you do get here, Mate, seriously, there's plenty to do. There's a creek, the actual weir itself you can swim in. Don't know about swimming in it right now because I can't see the bottom and it's all yucky and brown and stuff. That's because of the rains, which is understandable. But look, when it is clear, they've got swings on the trees that you can actually whoosh, whoosh, the whole lot. Now look, the weir behind us, it is magnificent. Seriously, seeing that water flow makes great for photography. Look, there's plenty of fish around here. I have seen everyone around this area with their fishing rod out. So go and take a fish. Why not? You might be able to catch dinner and your wife love ya. Right here, we're at one of the barbecue sites at the moment. Look, there's a few barbecue sites around here. There's not huge amounts of barbecue, so I'd say you bring your own, but what a gem this is. Somebody's built this. It's like a pizza oven. Have a look at this. How cool is that? <laughs> Righto. You've got a little fire break here so you can have your fire and everything else. Just letting you know there is plenty of wood out here to burn. So don't worry about bringing your own. You just got to bring a saw or something or other so you can hack it up, bring it back to your barbie and start a fire. How cool is that, eh? Let's keep looking at the park. Righto, the campsites. Look. There's quite a few around here and they're pretty level. Look, I've been looking at a few of these um, caravans. Certain places around here you have to chock your van up. But look, look at this one for instance. It's pretty level. It's not a very big uh, spot, but it's enough to put your van, your, uh, your car next to it and everything else. You're laughing. Let's have a look at a few more campsites. Just up from the campsite I just showed you just now is a few more campsites. Look, majority of the times you don't even end up in a hook. You can just pull straight in there, reverse in there, park up, set your jacks up, set your levelling up, and camp, and off you go. And the toilet is only around 50 metres away. Ah, it's a pretty good walk everywhere you go to the toilets. We'll look at them eventually in the show. Yeah, guys, it's the shitty part of the show. Yes, it's the dump site. Look, they do have a dump site here. I wouldn't say it's a big dump site. I'm assuming it's that hole in the ground here. With the plug, pull it up, stick your stuff in it. Bob's your uncle, you get rid of your stuff. But make sure you do clean the area around it. There is water here. It is rainwater. 
So, look, I wouldn't drink it anyway, but it's up to you. I did talk to some of the locals, and they did say about here with the water around here, you can drink it, which is, like I said, safe to drink, especially when you get out right in the middle of Australia and that. They don't really have big water treatment plants like Sydney, Brisbane, Wollongong, the whole lot. So, look, the dump sites here, it's pretty good. It's not made for RVs at all. I can't get my RV up here, so it's only mainly for caravans. Um, so look, do yourself a favor. When you do come here, chuck your stuff in here, not in the toilets. There is a dump site here. Cool, let's have a look at the park. Right, hey clampers, guess what? They've got picnic tables and undercover. It does rain. Mate, you won't get wet. What a fantastic thing. Look, you'll have to bring your own barbecue. There is a few um, fire spots around here that you can probably have a fire and everything else. Look, when you come to places like this, you're best off bringing your own fire pit. Uh, you can burn it on the ground, but a uh, particular environment, put it in a fire pit. But if you not, haven't got one, that's fine, fair enough. There is allocations around the campsite that you can have fires on the ground. And like I said before, go for a walk, you'll be able to find some timber. Oh, sorry, timber you build, would you burn? No. Rightio, if, if you can't get the undercover picnic areas, there is picnic areas out in the open. Look, you're not going to get much rain on certain days and everything else, and if you do you get a pour down, you're not going to have a barbecue outside, are you? You're going to have it inside. So look, it is here if you need to use it. It does need to be mowed a little bit, so be careful, mine-wise, of snakes. So, But look, there's not... Well, it's coming in winter anyway, so winter, they go and hide, they hibernate, so, but still, still be visual, uh, especially with your kids, with the snakes and everything else. No worries, let's go down to the park where I'm parked, and I'll show you that spot. Let's go. Right here, Clambers, the last part of the park, we're in the far section of the park. Look, seriously, wherever you can find a park, just park up, that's what I did. I just parked out of the road, so it gives people to turn around spot. You don't want to park right in the middle of the park because people's going to have a pain to get around you. Look, you're probably going to get midges around here a bit later and mozzies and everything else, but that's what happens in the bush. Oh, sorry, your call cannot be completed dial. Phone and reception, guys. Mate, seriously, you're not going to get much out here. There's only 3G out this way. I have not seen my phone hit 4G at all. All I've seen it go down to is 3, 3G, one bar. It's what happens when you're a bit further away from town. Like I said in a couple of my other videos, between towns, they don't put reception because there's no one there to use it. We're in the type of place at the moment, no one's using it. So look, the phone reception, you can make phone calls, but they're very, very sketchy and everything else. So look, if you're gonna get a Telstra box, make sure you do, go to telstra.com, look at it, they'll install it, perfect. Now when I turn that on mine, it goes from one bar to actually four bars. So I get a full reception in 3G when I turn that on, so it does work. It's come to the part in the video again where I tell you guys, look, you already know it already, but behind me, there's a bin. When you come to places like that, seriously, I'm looking around here and there's not an ounce of rubbish around here. So do everyone a favor, when you come here, there's plenty of bins, I'm looking one, two, three, four, five. There's ample amount of bins and the guys changed it today, which is a Friday. So they must come every Friday or every couple of days to empty the bin. So plenty of place to chuck all your stuff. So remember, in my videos, what do you do? Remember, no choice. The <laughs> O-Duty Groovers, we're up here on the toilets. Mate, it is a nice little lookout up here. It's great. Let's see what the toilets look like. Huh. Matter of fact, they're not too bad, I think. Mate, the toilets are pretty good. They're pretty clean at the moment. It looks like just an outhouse. It's not a very bad looking toilet at all. Right, eh, the toilets. Mate, and it's wheelchair access. The toilets, out of five, I'm going to give them a four. Seriously, they're not too bad toilet. They've got Soap, not hand sanitizer, that's fine. They've got soap to wash your hands. Paper towel they've got in there, and it's clean. So, good on your council. I'm gonna give you a four out of five for these toilets. Fantastic. Hats off. Rightio, clampers, look, when you get to a place like this, look for the donation boxes. Now, the donation boxes up here, uh, right near the toilet, so when you do come here, Slip a couple of bucks in, minimum of five bucks, I like to say. 
Um, but if you can't afford five bucks, well, afford something. Look, it's got to go back into this park, and as you can tell, I'm stamping around. There's ants everywhere. They're going to eat me. No, nah, they're not going to eat me. Look, one thing, when you come here, Go up to the toilet area, have a read. There's a bit of a bulletin board up there at the moment. It tells you what's going on and stuff like that. But slip some money into the box, you're laughing. Thanks, guys. Rightio. Here lays the last person caught stealing the toilet paper. He's buried here. Don't let that be you, guys. No worries. Okay, guys, I hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. If not, give us a thumbs down. Don't forget to turn the notifications on. And, guys, don't forget to subscribe. You have a great weekend.